السلام علیکم ایوری ون مائی نیم از اریزا فاطمہ اینڈ آئی ایم اسٹوڈینٹ آف ایم ایس پروجیکٹ مینجمنٹ ان ٹو بیٹر انڈرسٹینڈ دا ریسرچ آئی ایم میکنگ دس ویڈیو فار یو گائز سو دیٹ یو کین ہیلپ گیٹ ہیلپ آؤٹ آف ایٹ ان یور فیوچر وائل یو آر کنڈکٹیڈ یور ریسرچ دا ٹاپک دیٹ آئی واز اسائن واز ڈفرینٹ فلاسفیکل اسٹڈیز دیٹ وی یوز وائل کنڈکٹنگ یور ریسرچ The different philosophical studies that I will explain to you are ontology, epistemology, exology and methodology. Well, methodology is not a philosophical study. It is a way to conduct research. It can be said as a method to conduct research that I am going to describe later on. Let's move to the philosophical study. But before that, I am going to describe what is philosophy to have a bit better knowledge for the philosophical study. A philosophical study can be said as a theory or attribute that acts as a guiding principle for the behavior. In other words, philosophy can be said as the study of general or fundamental questions about existence, knowledge, values, reason, mind and language. Such questions are often posed as problems to be studied or resolved. This can be said as there is a problem and that needs to be solved then there is a philosophy that is proposed and people or researchers conduct study on that problem and find solutions to that now let's move to what is philosophical study a philosophical study can be said as the study of general fundamental questions about existence knowledge values reason mind and language These are the questions or the problems that need to be studied the area of study that hasn't been explored or explored through this Now let's move to the philosophical studies the first philosophical study that I am going to describe is ontology well ontology is the philosophical study of being more broadly it can be said as it is a study of existence a reality that exists in the real world in the broader world ontology is the is the philosophical study that deals with the questions in the knowledge of existence it can be said as questions about what exists or what can be said to exist and how such en- entities can be grouped according to the similarities and the differences in simpler words ontology can be described as the study of existence the study of reality that exists in the real world now let's move on to the next which is types of ontology it can be said as types or the points or the links that makes up ontology it completes ontology and those points are entity relation role and resource The first point is entity. Well, entity represents an object or a thing. For example, a person, a man, a child, a husband, a wife. Any any object that represents itself in the broader world. Then comes the relation. Relation represents the relationship between two entities. for example a, pi- a parent child relationship a husband wife relationship a mother and daughter relationship this describes the relationship between two entities <coughs> then comes the role role describes the participation of entities in a relation for example a marriage relation so in a marriage relation there is a husband and the, there is a wife and they both have different roles but interlinked to each other that they perform while they are in a marriage relation then comes the resource resource represents the properties associated with an entity or a relation for example a name or a date if we take example of a marriage relationship it can be said as the date of the marriage and the name of two people who are into marriage or into some other sort of relationship it can be also said as the types of values such as strings norms etc let's move to the example of ontology the example of ontology is when a physicist establish different categories to divide existing things into the into some order to better understand those things and how to they fit together in the broader world 
in simpler words this example can be described as there is a physicist he established different categories uh, and distributes different things into those categories uh, in order to understand how the those things exist in the real world what are the patterns what is the nature and what is the reality of those things into the broader world so that it can have a better understanding and it can help us to understand in a better way let's move to the next slide the next philosophical study is epistemology epistemology can be said as the theory of knowledge especially with regard of its method validity and scope and the distinction between justified belief and opinion in simpler words epistemology can be described as the theory of knowledge which depends on its method validity and scope and there is justified belief and opinion well justified belief can be described as there are beliefs which cannot be questioned or changed for example if religious beliefs you cannot question your religious belief that are eternal and then there is opinion opinion can be said as a uh, different sort of ideas or your way of watching that thing or an object or an entity now comes the branches of epistemology there are three branches of epistemology that is agnotology alithology formal epistemology the first branch which is agnotology it deals with the study of ignorance or doubt then comes alithology alithology is the study of nature of truth what sort of nature of the truth is there and the truth which is into the real world into the existence existing world then comes the formal epistemology this is the sub discipline of epistemology that uses formal methods from logic probability theory now we should move on further and i am going to describe you a example of epistemology well epistemology consists of three basic points which are truth belief and justification without these three points epistemology is incomplete first of all let's discuss about the truth truth occurs when false propositions can not be discerned consequently in order for something to be considered as knowledge it must be true in nature to consider something truthful and true into the real world it should be true in its nature now let's move on to the third philosophical study which is exology exology is the philosophical study of value it is either the collective term for ethics aesthetics philosophical fields that depends crucially on notions or words in simpler words exology can be said as it is the study of norms ethics values that exist into the real world now i am going to define what is exological approach exological approach is the approach which involves the transfer of young people value standards into the educational process it is the approach which deals with the culture values and how a person or a human acts according lead to a situation on the basis of their cultural values it can be divided into parts which is ethics ethics can be said as the study of values in a human behavior or the study of moral problems then comes the right and the wrong actions and the, the third one comes what, what do we desire what kind of desires which are good and which are not bad then comes the whether or actions are blameworthy or praiseworthy these three parts complete exological approach in simpler words it can be said as exological approach depends on the values then the right and the wrong actions then the desire for the good and then the actions that should be blamed or it should be praised the example for the exological approach can be said as studying of the ethics of jewish religion or any other religion that exists in the world 
now it comes with a broader perspective that study of ethics what it what what ethics how ethics and these questions rise up now there are different religions in the world and every religion has their own norms and values and ethics in the study how these ethics are carry on how the norms are carry on how the values are passed this is a study which can be carried through the exological approach now let's move on to the methodology in simpler words methodology is the systematic theoretical analysis of the methods applied to a field of study it is an analysis of both methods and principle associated with the branch of knowledge in simpler words methodology can be said as a method or a way out which one researcher is carrying on with its branch of knowledge to conduct his or her research now let's move on to methodology in research research methodology is a specific procedure of techniques used to identify select process and analyze information about a topic in their research paper methodology section also allows the reader to critically evaluate a study studies overall validity and reliability research in research methodology is the part which gives a chance or a opportunity to a reader to evaluate whether the study is validate or reliable or not let's move on to the types of methodologies the types of methodology the types of methodologies are qualitative quantitative and mixed method let's move on to qualitative qualitative research is the research in which a researcher uses interviews on focus groups and observation through which data is collected it is the kind of research that is unstructured and non numerical this can this research is done through interviews different type of notes observations video recordings carried out by the researcher in different documents of various kinds that the researcher carries and on the basis of this then the researcher conducts its study his study or her study and then values and then validates it let's move on to quantitative research in this type of research the researcher crafts a hypothesis then test it through the structured means structured structured means can be said as the ways or the tools which are used to test a hypothesis whether the hypothesis is right or not this can be said as a systematic investigation of a phenomena by gathering data and performing statistical mathematical or computational techniques in this mathematical information or the tools are used to gather the data which a researcher uses now comes the mixed method mixed method is the combination of both qualitative and quantitative research this type of methodology measures both quantitative and qualitative research it is done on the basis of interviews observations along with the facts and statistics i hope i was able to conduct and i was able to convey the philosophical approach in a better way and to make you understand what is a philosophical approach and how philosophical approach are implemented in our study and what is methodology and how research methodology is carried on and what is the importance of research methodology thank you